We conclude the account we began yesterday in the reading from the Acts of the Apostles today, which spoke of the martyrdom of the deacon of the deacon St. Stephen, the first recorded martyr for the faith. We also celebrate today, as I mentioned, the feast of St. Athanasius, one of the four doctors of the Eastern Church who came from Alexandria in Egypt. These two men were separated by a number of years, yet I believe we can consider them together today as a further illustration of the meaning for us of this past Sunday's beautiful gospel story from St. Luke about the disciples so sad and distressed making their way to Emmaus. They met Jesus on the way but they were restrained from recognizing him until they sat with him and broke bread together. Jesus certainly walked with St. Stephen, and Stephen was totally intent on walking with Jesus and doing his will, no matter what the cost. Notice the similarity to Jesus' death as St. Stephen was martyred for the faith. He commended himself to the Lord, and he forgave those who were stoning him to death. St. Athanasius was not martyred for the faith, but he certainly suffered for his faithfulness. He dedicated himself to upholding and clarifying the belief and teaching of the church that Jesus was true God and true man, consubstantial with the Father, as we pray in the Nicene Creed, which came out of the Council of Nicaea, held in the year 325, at which Athanasius was very prominent. St. Athanasius taught and wrote beautifully about the true nature of Jesus against the heretical teachings of a group called the Arians. Yet, because of his faithfulness to Jesus, with whom he walked all his life, Athanasius was exiled several times for a total of 17 years. You and I will not likely be martyred for the faith or exiled because we believe in Jesus Christ. Yet, you and I are called to give witness and walk with Jesus in everyday life situations. May God's word and our celebrating the bread of life which we have come together today to break and share be for us as it was for St. Stephen and St. Athanasius, a source of strength and courage. May we give in all things faithful witness to Jesus, the bread of life.